So this right here is the gorilla that we were looking at. And I wanted to get you to show you how to do this realistic skin tones that I did. And um, I'm going to jump back before these two drawings. But first of all, you draw your drawing. So I drew my lips and I drew the shape of my nose. And I made sure I drew really, really lightly. So you probably can't see my drawing, but here it is again, real light. Um, and here I focus more on the nose and the uh, closed eyes. But then I'll add the lips here. So I'm going to just add the lips of the darker color, which I usually wouldn't. But I'm going to add the lips here just so that you see the shape. And I hope you can see that. I'm going to start with, um, this blue is pretty nice. So I'm going to start with this blue. No, I'm going to start with this cream. And I'm going to add the bottom of the lip. Bless you. I'm going to add the bottom of the lip. And I'm going to add just like, just the highlight of it. I'm going to add the top of the lip so that I can focus where I'm putting my black. And then I'm going to grab this really dark brown. Or like a dark or like a medium olive green and I'm just gonna start adding a tone of it I know it's black but if you look at it there's a lot of tones underneath it and I didn't go straight I like followed the shape of my lip okay and I'm gonna do the same thing with the top I'm gonna start adding that tone of skin right there I'm gonna grab a different brown that I just have and I'm gonna add another tone and I'm pressing really really lightly when I look at this gorilla, I see a lot of blues and a lot of underlying uh, greens and violets. So I'm going to add some of those too. So this is a really dark blue. If you're looking at your image, you'll see where the, orange, the greens and the blues and the purples are. So this one right here, you'll see that there's a bunch of purple right here underneath the black. And there's a bunch of kind of grayish green there. And there's a bunch of regular gray here before the shadows didn't get made. And right here, when you look at the picture, you'll see a bunch of re a red spot. Me as an artist, I chose not to make it super red because then it's gonna take attention away from my drawing. So I put the red in, toned it down with a little bit of blue and then put some black over it. So now I have the red like my image does, but then I don't have a bunch of it, okay? So think about making artistic choices as you draw. They don't have to be exactly like the drawing. Um, so I'm gonna add some blue here. And notice my hand actually turns as I draw because I'm trying to follow some of this contour. I'm going to go back in with my black now. And our color pencils are mixed. The black Prisma color really is the best. And so basically, I'm going to spend a good 20 minutes adding layers of dark of black, dark blue, like my olive green, and then um, some of my grays again and again and again until I get it like this. I never ever pressed black. I just kept using this technique of adding. A lot of your drawings look like this right now because you're quitting. You think, well, I did about 30 layers. That should be enough. It's not until you get the color that you need. It might take 10 layers. It might take 15. It might take 20. So now I'm going to go in back with my black and I'm going to focus on these areas right here, like where I can see the shadows. And if you look at your gorilla, you'll see that they're around here. There's like a line type thing, shadow here. And that's when I start adding them. And that's how I get my skin. On my lip, what I did for the lip is I added a base of gray. And I blended it in with my cream. And then I went in with my dark brown and got this line. And I didn't just draw the line, I faded the line out to the bottom because the top lip is leaving a shadow on the bottom lip. And then I took uh, brown and I made little lines. They go down for like his poor dry lips. And then I grabbed some dark brown and I made some more lines that went down. And they're not just straight like lines like that. They're like curving with the shape of his lip. Again, going back into art one, when Coach Clark had you do the, um, the bananas and the apples and the cups when he was following the contour. And then I went back in there and I added some of these dark blue lines. And then I went back in there with this cream color to tone down. I went with this black color, cream color here to tone down the... Um, the uh, all the lines that I made, if I use the original color that I made, I can block them off. 
right here. Then I'm going to go back in with my really, really dark blue that I just love. And I'm going to go back in there and make my line a little bit darker. Then I'm going to go back in with my black. And I'm going to make that there. And then I'm going to fade it out. The fade out is really what makes the lips happen. When I got done with this, and then I added a little bit of white lines too, by the way. When I got done with this, and I got my top lip and my bottom lip, I went in with my black and I just colored over the whole thing to tone it down to go with the rest of mine so I wouldn't have the dark contrast. I wanna call attention to the nose because here I could see this whole nostril and here I saw a big shadow and the nostril was ripped. I need you to start getting comfortable with drawing what you see, not what you know is there. Obviously the nose is the same on both sides, but in the picture I couldn't see that. I could see this weird drop shadow that happened, so I took it. Right here, this middle part, it's easy to draw down, but I couldn't see it all because there were some drop shadows here in the middle. Start getting comfortable with it. Remember never to press a card on your color pencil. Um, on the lips, when I was coloring here, I added some, I pressed really hard on my white and I added some of the highlights on top of my drawing and that's how I got this. Here for the nose, I was really working on drawing lines that turn with the shape of the nose that just turned with the shape of the nose. And I want you to focus on those. Um, so this, obviously right here, took like five times the time that this took. So just realize it's gonna be layers and layers is what's gonna make it happen. All right? Thanks guys.